Hey guys and welcome back to Melons. So today I'm going to be talking about what's in my bag, which I'm going to show you in about a second. Um, but yeah, I've been seeing this, I've seen a few people do this on YouTube and I thought it was really interesting. So I kind of wanted to do it and share with you guys what things I bring around with me all the time. I have an excessive amount of stuff in this bag I'm about to show you and it's a little crazy. Um, but I did want to just run through kind of why I carry this big bag around um, a lot of times. So I do work freelance, so I work from home a lot of times. And sometimes when I'm running around doing errands, um, I like to have a lot of stuff with me just in case I have to sit down and like do something. Um, I'm actually missing something in here that's normally in there. Um, I'll just, when I talk about it, I'll, I'll get to it. Um, but so that's why I carry so much stuff around. I also have been splitting my time between my house and my boyfriend's. So there is a few things in here that are kind of packed for that. But yeah, we're just gonna run through and I'm gonna talk about some of the things I carry around with me. So we're just gonna dive on in. So, like I said, I do um, run around a little bit, and I've been staying in kind of two places, so I've been carrying this giant bag around. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This was a college graduation gift from Lynn, actually, and it is my baby. It's probably the most expensive thing I own in my life. Um, I think it was more expensive than my computer. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, I love this bag. I like it because I can throw a lot of stuff in here, but it never feels too heavy. So I do really like this. Um, I do have another smaller bag that I uh, carry around a lot of times too when I'm just like going out shopping with my mom or something. And that one is like just this like little like crossbody Tory Burch bag. Um, I got that for Christmas one year and I, it just, those are the two bags that I always use. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna unpack this bag for you guys today. And so the first thing that I'm just gonna pull things out at random. Um, and at first I want to go through the little tiny pocket and get that out of the way because there's just like a bunch of random stuff in here. Um, so I'm just going to pull products out and we will talk. Uh, Alright, let's see. So first thing in here is I have this Bath and Body Works Heirloom Cranberries uh, hand sanitizer. I like carrying this around with me because a lot of times when you're out in public and you go to the restroom, sometimes there's not always soap and I find that very gross. Um, so I like to keep this in here just in case like for some reason there's no soap in the public restroom. So I use this or if I'm somewhere and my hands get dirty or whatever it may be. So I always like to carry this around um, with me. I always have one, have one. I don't know. I have one sitting on my nightstand as well. Um, and I have one in my other purse. So they're just kind of always there for me. I do want to look into... This one looks kind of nasty. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I want to look into like other types of hand sanitizer that are more natural. I know. That. Next up, <laughs> we have some Advil. Um, it has recently been that time of the month. So I always have Advil on me just in case um, there's any, you know, girl stuff going on. Um, but I also like he keeping this with me just in case like... I get headaches, whatever. Uh, it comes very handy when uh, we go out for drinks with friends and the next morning um, not feeling so good. So that's why I like to keep this in here. That doesn't happen too often, but every once in a while. So I like to have this in here. I need to refill it. Um, there's not that many left in here, but I just, I always keep this little one and just like keep refilling it from the Costco size bottle that my parents buy. So I always have that in here. Um, I also have a compact mirror. And this is actually a Frozen themed compact mirror. I think Lynn got this for me uh, for Christmas a few years ago, but it's just like a normal mirror. Pretty sure one side is magnet. Yep, magnetized, magnified. That, that's the word. Um, and then normal. And it's just really pretty. I actually think this is beautiful. I'm gonna can't close it. Oh, there it goes. So show you what it looks like. So that is the front. There are the two, the Elsa and Anna in there. Um, me and Lynn were really obsessed with Frozen for a while when it first came out. So it's just kind of like this running joke that um, she's Elsa or I'm, we're like the sisters from Frozen. But yeah, and there's also says strong bond, strong heart on the back. It's like engraved. It's really pretty. I actually don't even know. I'm going to try not to blind you as I'm trying to show you this. I don't know if you can really see that. Um, I don't know where she got this, but it's really, really beautiful. And I carry it around in my purse with me just in case any touch of touch-ups need to happen. It's really hard to close. I never noticed that. Um, all right, let's see. I also have a coupon for Redberry, the frozen yogurt place near us. <laughs> me and my boyfriend have been trying to go there forever. Um, I have a lip balm in here. I always carry a lip balm around with me. I keep my um, agave lip balm from Bite Beauty in this bag because, I don't know, I just, I really love this lip balm. I've almost used the entire thing and I'm kind of like trying to use it up and like just to say that I used up a lip balm and then obviously I'm going to be repurchasing it because I love it but yeah I just keep that in here because it's close to being done it's my favorite lip balm ever so obsessed with it this one kind of travels with me actually depending on what bag I'm in uh usually 
lip balms. I have one in each bag and each coat pocket, uh, but this one has been traveling with me because I am trying to use it up and because I just love it so much. I kind of want to try the Agave lip mask next time because I've heard that's really good as well. And I've never tried that before, um, but let me know. Have you tried both? Which one do you like better, the balm or the mask? Let me know in the comments. Um, kind of off topic, but anyway. Next up, we have some change. Don't know why it's in this pocket. Um, that should be in my wallet. But I have, let's see, I have 62 cents in here. That's good. It's gonna go in my change jar. That's switch side, this side over here, behind my frame. I can't really see it, but. Um, and then I also have, let's see, I have two more things in here. So I have Altoids in here for when my breath is smelly. Um, I like to keep these with me. I like the cinnamon ones, they're the best. Um, but I just like to keep these in here just in case. I normally have gum too, because I prefer gum over mints. Um, but I keep both just in case. Sometimes your breath is a little stinky and you need to freshen it up. And then I also have this L'Occitane uh, hand cream in here for when my hands get really dry. And I actually use this on any parts of my body that get dry when I'm out. My elbows get really dry a lot, so I use this on that as well. I just like having cream in here. Just in case, you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, um, Alright, so that was it for these small little pockets that's in here. I'm going to run on to the big contents of the bag. I chose to film this video today because I have a ton of stuff in here from my last night stay at my boyfriend's, um, which was last night. So I'm just going to run through with every, everything that's in here because there's a lot of stuff. So first up, obviously I'm going to take my phone out here because I just threw it in here when I was grabbing my bag. Um, so I'll keep my phone in my bag. I think everyone does that. Phone. Um, and then I also have a book in here. I like to carry a book around with me because you never know when you're going to have some downtime. And I love to read. It's one of my favorite things. So I am always carrying a book with me. This is the um, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Um, I actually saw one of my favorite bloggers on Instagram, Amelia Says. I believe it's her Instagram handle. I'll leave it in the description box. She was posting Instagram stories that she was reading this book and it just like really intrigued me and I went out and bought it and it is so good. I literally have had it for only like a week or so. I've only been started, I only started reading it earlier this week and I'm already like halfway through. I'm pretty sure it is a trilogy so there are two more books but definitely if you were into like fantasy kind of books, um, it has a lot to, there's like a lot of magic going on. Uh, I would definitely check this out. It's a really good book. I am really obsessed with it but so that's also my bag right now. I also have some sunglasses because I never go anywhere without sunglasses. My eyes are very sensitive to light. So when it's sunny out, I definitely need some sunglasses. And these are the Desi Perkins Quay Q, how do you say that? Uh, these are the high key. These are the rose gold ones. I'll take them out. I also have the silver and blue ones, but those live in my other purse. Like I said, I always have to have sunglasses with me. So um, I have two pairs that live in either purse. Um, I really like these. They're super um, wide. <laughs> So my dad looks, says I like, likes to say I look like a bug when I wear these, um, but I love them. They're great. They really block out a lot of light, which is why I like that they're so big. Um, I recently just purchased the minis, the high key minis. So when I get those, I'll let you know how they compare, but I really love them. And for the price, like you really can't go wrong. Um, next up in here is my portable phone charger. I have the portable charger butt, and then I also have just the little like wall plug and then the cord. Um, I actually got this charger at Target for $5. Greatest deal ever. In the dollar section they have in the front of Target, um, they have like phone accessories and they have these like chargers up there. I can get like two full charges out of it, which isn't bad. Um, I know you can buy ones for like $30 that hold like eight charges or something, but for me that just like wasn't really necessary, so I didn't mind just paying $5 for one. And it's really pretty. It's like shimmery, metallic-y silver. Um, it's like sequenced inside. But they have a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different ones. But definitely go check out the dollar section. They have some <laughs> really great stuff. I love shopping in that section. I don't know why. Just my favorite part. Um, so next up, let's see. I actually have my camera battery charger in here. My camera was in here as well. Sometimes when I'm out doing things that I think are kind of cool, fun, I don't know. Um, I like to bring my camera just in case I want to take pictures or film any of it. I really want to start doing like weekly vlog wrap up kind of things. I don't know if you guys watch Alana Davison. You probably know at this point I'm like obsessed with her. I want to be friends with her. If you let me, if you know her personally, uh, like please let me know how to be friends with her because she's amazing. Um, but she does like these weekly vlogs and I just think it's really cool um, to see what she does in a week to kind of see what her normal life is like because I feel like sometimes when I watch YouTube especially like, um, I don't know, I kind of get lost in the fact that they're just YouTubers and I forget that they have normal life. So it's kind of interesting getting to see 
what she does in a week so I've been kind of interested in like filming one and seeing how that goes but I honestly don't really do that much fun stuff so I don't know I, I don't know I'm kind of on the fence about it but let me know what you guys think so that's in here as well I next have this like card holder thing and this house is all of my gift cards and like subscription cards I guess you can say so I have the big one that you all are gonna recognize um, I have my Sephora Rouge card in here I have my Ulta card, although they don't even really need this card anymore because they just ask you your phone number, but I still like to have it. Um, I have the American Eagle card. This is like the original OG American Eagle card. Um, it's so old. I've had this since I was like in middle school. Um, and then I have a Nordstrom gift card wrapped in paper that has its like balance on it. I still have not used that. And then I have, let's see, what else do I have here? I have a Michaels gift card that has like 25 cents on it. Same with this Buffalo Wild Wings one. It has like 20 cents on it and I don't know what I'm going to do with those. And then I have my Starbucks black card. It's just like a gift card, but it's, I think it's really cool because it's all matte black. And I just keep refilling it with money because I think it looks really cool. Um, I think there's like 10 bucks on here right now. I need to put more money on it. But then I also have a Dunkin' Donuts card that has like $6 or something. So both coffee uh, places and some other random, random stuff. But are you a Starbucks person or a Dunkin' Donuts person? Let me know in the comments. I like both uh, for different reasons. I think Dunkin' has really, really good iced coffee. Um, but I think Starbucks has um, better, like, frou-frou options, if that's a good way to put it. Like, specialty drinks, I guess, um, when I want something that's, like, I don't know, a little bit more like a latte or something. I like to go to Starbucks. And they also have the best baked goods. I love their, I love, love, love their banana bread, or not banana bread, the banana one's good too, the pumpkin bread, that was the one I love, it is so good, but anyway, moving on, <laughs> um, next up I also keep a little notebook in here, this is where I like to write down ideas for the blog and channel, if I'm out somewhere and something pops into my head, I like take this out and like jot it down, um, I also like bringing this with me to places where like I'm just sitting around and kind of not really doing anything, I'll get some work done for the blog and write some notes down or do whatever, um, that brings me to another thing that's usually in my bag but not in here right now, I usually carry my iPad around just in case um, I need to like check emails or something, um, but now that I have the bigger phone, I find myself reaching for that more so I haven't been carrying the iPad around as much but that used to be something that was always in my bag, uh, moving on. Next up, I have this little makeup bag, and this is actually from Vera Bradley, I got this for Christmas. It's really, really cute and like compact, and it's like the perfect size for a purse. It also like folds in, so, um, it like folds so it gets like smaller. But I just keep a few necessities in here, just in case, like, if I stay at my boyfriend's house and don't have time to take my makeup off before or do whatever, I just keep a few things in here, so I'm gonna go through this. So first up, I have these little cleansing cloths. These are the Olay cloths. I think I just talked about them in my favorites video, my March favorites. Um, they're just like dry cloths, and when you wet them, there's like soap and stuff in them. And I like to use these to take my makeup off. So especially if I'm running around, like running late, and I don't have time to wash my face before I head over there, I bring these with me to wash my face. So there's always good things. There are always good things to have in my purse. You never know when you're going to take makeup off if it's irritating you or whatever. So I usually keep about four in here, but I use some, so there's only two right now. But I also keep um, cotton pads, just because sometimes you need some cotton pads. <laughs> um, I, I don't really know why these are in here, but uh, I, I just like to carry them around, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think one time I packed, like, a toner or something to go to my boyfriend's house and I put those in here but um, I do like to carry these around just in case like I don't know they're good they're good to have you never know when you're gonna need cotton pad oh, I'm just saying um let's see what else oh I also have a perfume in here this is the Glossier U I used to carry around a mini deodorant in here too just because you never know when you're gonna be smelly um but I actually swap I use that up so I just put a perfume in here just in case which I know is not the same but sometimes you just need to smell good and so I will just spray perfume on myself um but yeah that's things you don't need to know about me Moving on, I also have a little like sample of a like foundation. Well, this is the Tarte Guard uh, tinted moisturizer. Uh, just in case like I wake up at his house and we're running out somewhere, sometimes I like to slather something on my skin. Just in case, this also has uh, SPF in it. Um, so especially if we're gonna be out in the sun and stuff, and I don't have anything else with me, it's definitely good to have just to like put on just for a little bit of protection. So um, I always keep this in here. Um, and then I keep a moisturizer in here as well. This is the Belief 
uh, true the true cream aqua bomb. I love this stuff. This is my like holy grail daily moisturizer recently, and uh, I like to throw, I like to throw things around apparently. Um, I don't know where that went, but I like to keep a moisturizer in here, like a sample size. Again, if I go to my boyfriend's and I wash my face and I don't have anything else with me, I at least have moisturizer. Um, and throughout the day too, if my skin starts to look a little dry in patches, especially when I'm wearing like a light base, like a light foundation, I'll just like tap a little bit of moisturizer. I, I'm tapping here because I have this really bad dry patch right here and it looks really crusty and gross throughout the day. Um, so I'll just like tap a little bit of moisturizer over it. I don't really know if that's good to do or not, but it helps my skin, so I do it. Um, but yeah, so I just like to keep that in here just in case. You never know when well, you're going to need some moisturizer. And for some reason, I have another, like, lotion in here. <laughs> Why do I keep dropping things? Um, this is the L'Occitane Milk Concentrate. It's like an almond butter kind of thing. There's a lot of French on here that I can't read. That one actually smells much better. I should just keep that one in here. Um, but just another lotion. Like I said, my skin gets really dry in the winter, so uh, especially like on my elbows and my knees. So sometimes, like you know, you just need a little bit of lotion. So I keep that in here. Um, I should really get rid of this hand cream and just keep the lotion in here because this stuff smells kind of weird. I don't really like it. Um, but yeah, so then there's one last thing in this pouch, and that is the Dior Lip Glow. I usually will throw whatever lip color I'm wearing for the day into this little pouch as well, just in case I need to like touch up throughout the day and want something a little bit more than just a balm. And I was actually wearing this yesterday, which is why it is in here. Today I would throw in the Lancome Matte Shaker and Completely Nut. Um, but this is what I was wearing yesterday, so I just threw it in here as well. So I always like to keep a few makeup bits in here or skincare bits just in case um, a time comes that I need to like touch up my makeup if we're going somewhere or if I just like need to just take it off and start over, you know, just in case. I just need like the bare minimum. I don't need everything, but I do like to keep a few things in here. Uh, just for those times. So there's only a few more things in here. I have the pouch in here that comes with the bag, but I honestly don't really keep that much in here. Sometimes when I have like a overflow of cash, which is <laughs> very rarely, I will put it in here because I feel like it's a little bit more um, secure. It's like tethered to the bag. Um, and also when we're like going out somewhere where I need to feel a little bit more secure, I'll put my cards and stuff in here. But for the everyday, most of the time I don't really use this. Um, I don't know, just because I like my wallet, so I don't really, I don't, I don't really find a need for this. Um, but that stays in here. I have some gum, which only has one piece left. Um, but I also have that. That this stays with my mints. Either option. I really like cinnamon. Can you tell? Uh, cinnamon mint, cinnamon gum. It's my favorite flavor of gum. Uh, but I definitely need to get more because there's only one piece. My boyfriend steals it all the time. He's like, "Oh, do you have gum? Do you have gum?" And I'm like, "Yes." So that's why this is completely empty. Um, and then the last thing in here is just my wallet. So this is my wallet. It's this Tory Burch. It matches the smaller bag that I uh, use. I wish I had the funds to buy a wallet that matched this bag, but I currently don't. So that will be a goal at least at some point in my life. Um, but I love this wallet. I like the zipper. Um, I like that it has a lot of room in it. I'll go through and show you guys a few things, but a lot of it's kind of boring. Um, but yeah, so... I love this wallet. It's in pretty good condition for how long I've had it. I've had it for like four years now, but I really love Tory Burch's stuff. I think it's so cute and so like classic and simple. So that's kind of like my aesthetic. I don't really like like flashy things. Um, I'm sure you know that at this point. I'm pretty pretty simple when it comes to like fashion and uh, most things. But yeah, so I really love this. Really pretty. Well, let's open it on up. I have cash in here. It's like 40 bucks in cash. Um, I have my driver's license. I have my, my my college ID, which is like really really horrible. So I went to school in North Carolina. I can't get it out. I went to High Point University, and so this is this is my picture from my my college ID. Really 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 horrible. Um, we like someone had told us that you could keep keep your picture from like your year before. And I was like, oh, like, perfect, like, my picture looks so good, like, I'm not even gonna worry about it, like, whatever. And we went, and they were like, oh, yeah, like, no, that's not a thing. And I was like, shit, I had, like, barely any makeup on, just rolled out of bed, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that was my... And then the next year, they let you keep your same picture, they let you keep your same ID, like, they didn't uh, make new IDs. Like, we used to have to get new IDs every year, but they just kept it this one. Um, and I was like, seriously, you couldn't have done this last year when I wanted my old picture. Um, but, yeah, so... Fun, fun facts about me. Um, I also have like some random uh, business cards in here for some photographers and stuff in uh, New York City. Um, if you don't know, I uh, 
part of my major in college, I was a studio art major, but I focused in photography and I have some gift, card, or gift cards. I have some um, cards of like dark rooms in New York because I worked with mostly film photography. So yeah, more fun facts. Um, I also have a coupon for some ice cream, a one free miniature golf game, um, another ice cream coupon, and more business cards. I have my healthcare card. I have my, what is this? Oh, um, High Point also gives you like a little card with your diploma on it. It's like a print of your diploma in like a business card style. I have that in here. Don't really, don't really know why. Um, but that stays in here. I have my AAA card, which is kind of important, I guess. And then I also have my Bloomingdale's Loyalist card, which never gets used because we don't have a Bloomingdale's anywhere near us. It takes like 45 minutes to get to the closest Bloomingdale's. But I opened it because they were doing like 15% off when you open like a Bloomingdale's Loyalist program and like it's not a credit card like it's just a points card and I was like yeah okay um so that's why I have that um I also have my another fun fact if you did not know this I was in a sorority in college in Alpha Chi Omega and I have two cards from that so I have my membership card and then I also have our symphony on a little card here so those stay in my wallet just because I don't know if they do I also have a season some season subscriber ID for the New York Rangers. Uh, another fun fact, I'm a really big hockey fan. New York Rangers are my favorite team. And this was from the 2014-2015 season, uh, but it was my subscriber card. Uh, my brother-in-law has season tickets, and so every year he, like, one year he put them in my name because we were, like, going to a game or something, and he gave me the card, and it was, like, this big, like, present for me. So I was really, really excited, and I keep this because it has my name on it, so... Uh, but yeah, that was just for the year, so he changed it back to his stuff, but <laughs> I was really excited about it. I have my old uh, Sephora card in here. I keep this one. I don't, just because. And then I have a Michael's Rewards card. So that is everything in my bag. I know it seems like a lot of stuff, but you know, you gotta always be prepared for things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat interesting or fun to hear some things about me and see what I carry around with me. Uh, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I don't know why I struggle to say that every single time I film, but I feel like it's kind of funny at this point, so I just keep it in. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in our next one. Bye, guys.